Hi, I'm James Chow, host of the China Current. What binds our world together are the Sustainable Development Goals, also known as the Global Goals. At the heart is health and well-being. I went to meet with Professor Sharon Lewin, the clinician scientist activist who's looking for an AIDS cure, to find out about China and Africa in health. You hold multiple roles and in them you travel to sub-Saharan Africa, still the region that holds the most number of people living with HIV than anywhere else in the world. But when we look at solutions, these are still largely being built outside of Africa entirely. Does that dynamic need to change if the people are in that region? Absolutely. So to involve people living with HIV and scientists in Africa in um, both research and clinical trials, allowing their communities to understand what we're doing is absolutely critical. If we've got strong voice in the community, it can make a big difference to how quickly research can be accelerated. You are a clinician, scientist, activist. I'm just wondering, with Chinese and African political leaders, are they aware of the cutting edge on the cusp work that people like you do, and how could they best support push that even further? I think China certainly has enormous amounts to offer in this search for both a cure and a vaccine. For a long time there's been a lot of work and leadership from China on an HIV vaccine. So if we could bridge that link between China and Africa on doing more work in these two fundamental areas, a vaccine for HIV and a cure, could be a very powerful relationship. Hard to believe, but it's exactly a hundred years since the outbreak of the Spanish influenza. And yet, infectious diseases are still at the core of many of the world's human emergencies. The frequency of that, is that making us emotionally immune to them? And I think if anything, what we worry most about, about what could be the next great emergency, I still think flu's up there above anything else. So as you say, a hundred years later, we still don't have the tools to adequately respond to um, a new strain of flu and need a lot more 